Hello friend, this is Sopnil and welcome to Learning CPA Map. So in this session, we are going to see how the two class can access private and protected component of each other. Okay. So uh, we have already seen it in the last video how the one class can access the private component of another class using friendship class concept. Okay. And it is nothing but we can say the friendship is a one sided. Okay. So that means uh, if the class two is a defined with the friend of class one then class 1 can access all the protected and private component of class 2 okay but not vice versa and suppose if the class 2 want to access the all the component of class 1 then class 1 will have to be defined by the friend of class 2 okay so don't worry if you don't uh, understand uh, then we will i will try to explain to you in a uh, practically okay so okay but wait uh, if you are the first time on my channel or you still didn't subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos okay so uh, stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn a cpm app okay so uh, we are discussing like if a class 2 is defined with the friend of class 1 then class 1 can access all the protein and private component of class 2 so what does it mean so class 2 is a friend of class 1 so that is mean let's suppose let's suppose this is our this is our class and this is our second class okay so in a class 1 we have a private section okay where we have some private variable and the class 2 also we have some private variable okay but what does it mean like if the class 2 is a defined with the friend of class 1 then class 1 can access all the so you can access all the protein and private component of class 2 so let's suppose for the class 2 so is a defined with the friend of class 1 so let's suppose i will define the class 1 so the uh, here i will use friend class 1 okay so that means the class 1 can access all the private and protected component of this class 2 okay uh, class 2 but not vice versa that is mean but class 2 can't access the private component of the pri private component of the class one why that's all, okay so if the so that is me uh, so if the class two want to access the, all the component class of uh, the class one then class one will have to define with the friend of class also let's suppose class two also want to access the private component of this class so that uh, the class one then uh, the class one will have to define with the friend of class two, so that we need to the friend as a class two okay this one so now this thing we are going to see in practically okay okay so what i will do i will first go to the uh, so okay, I will, here i will first define a class 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 one definition and here i will use in class okay so in a class uh, i will use the public section public section here and in public section i will use the uh, use method which method class one is called public method okay and here i will define uh, two more section protected section so in a protected section i will use the variable variable public variable of class one type care 50 and then i will use again protected section so in a protected section also I will define a two variable lv protected protected type cap 50 okay and here i will use i will define one method also okay third m sorry here are a method class one private okay and here i will give the name as a method class one public okay so check and so it is uh methods okay okay so as of now we have defined two methods okay so now uh, we will try the implementation class So we will define the class as well. I uh, will define here implementation section also. As well, implementation and class. Okay. So we need one more. Uh, now I will define one more class, which is a class two. Okay. Class two definition, and here also end class. So in this also we will uh, use the same public and protected okay 
the same variable from class 1 to class 2 okay here and here I will use the class 2 public this is a public 2 and this is the protected 2 okay here as again as a 1 and here I will give as a 2 okay so we have defined the public and protected section in a class the end class okay and here I will write class class 2 implementation in this section we will implement the class okay and class okay so so far what we have done uh, we have created two class okay so class one here and the class in a class one we have public section in which we have a public method and when protected section we have a variable and uh, uh, protected and here this is a nothing but private section okay so private section okay and the last one is also private section okay so now we will implementation missing okay fine okay so now we will implement so now what i will do first i will implement a method of class 2 of the class we will implement a private method okay so first then we will implement the another method, okay so we will use the method first i will use class 1 public okay end method but you will implement this later but first we will implement the pro private method okay method and class private end method okay so what we have here okay so now what i will do uh we'll implement this class one uh protected method okay so what we have here uh local variable protected one okay so here i will write protected protected variable of class one okay and we'll initialize another also here we even have the uh, public uh, just to check okay sorry here we have given the public instead of public we will get the protected protected and here we will give the private okay private okay here also we will do the same thing protected to and private to okay so here lv here we have private okay so here i will give the name as a private variable of class one okay so here i will use write statement so and also protected okay check and statement is missing but i know so here i will give the right statement private method of class one equal to and here also equal to okay so, so now we have implemented now we will do the same thing for the class 2 also okay so what I will do for the class 2 I will just copy as it is code for class 2 also okay in the method section so method and method class 2 private end method and in between i will paste my code okay and here i will use the variable as a protected to 
here private to of class 2 and class 2 okay class 2 and this is a private method of class 2 okay so so far what we have done here protected to and here private to and class and method okay so okay so as of now what we have done we have just created two class and for we with the sum of probable protection function and in this class one we have only implemented uh, the private uh, private method of class and in the class two also we have implemented protected uh, private component class okay so now we will see how they now the class can access the friend class the friend class can access the component of the private class okay and vice versa okay so now let's suppose now what if let's suppose here the class two so what here i will do uh, i will use a as a friend here i will write friend class 2 okay so what does it mean so class 2 means what are uh, they if we depend on the parent class two. so this class 2 can access all the pro uh, the pro protected and private component of class 1 okay so that is when okay but not vice versa but class 1 can't access the protected and protected component of this class 2 okay so that is we will see how this we can pass so now we have different class so let me activate will show you one more thing so now you can see the type class 2 is unknown why because we, we class 2 we have defined in our later on but we have first of class as a one or, or defined as a class 1 uh, in the class 1 also we are uh, we are giving as a friend class friend class okay we are defining this as a friend class okay but uh, there is no class so that's for what we have we need to define as a class class 2 then here definition differ okay so so it what what does it mean it will make the it will make class 2 it will make the class 2 as a known uh, regardless of the location of the actual definition of the class okay so that is the reason we are once you define class 2 so now you can see we are not getting that error but we are getting some different error okay we to implement this okay so that is the we are so now we have this friend class 2 so this friend class 2 can access the protected and private component okay so let's see how we can access this so we have already seen uh, the access the protected component and class 2 can instantiate class 1 in its uh, method okay we have already seen in the last video so how we can so see here so now this is a class so we will go to the class 2 here so here i will use the method M, which method public okay so in a public section and here and method so here public section what i will do i will use data object one type refer to class one okay and then here i will use create object obj1 and here I will access the I will access which method see now you can see we can access the private method okay so I will access this private method here so you can see this probability probability variable is also here uh, variable is also we can access here but I will access my private uh, private method here okay that's it sorry call method object okay okay this class one so now we can see this can access but not a vice versa let's suppose now in the same also i will try to do the same thing in class two in a class one so as you can see here this is our class one right so here i will uh, okay here i will try to access the component of the class two okay so let's see what will happen here i will use object two class 2 and object 2 and if i will use i have class 2 so you object 2 so now you can see here we can get only access for the uh, empty object class 2 public the public class so we can't access use the uh, here we can't see the private component okay now what i will do i will just try to access access okay so let's see what we have in uh, class 2 we have this private so if i will use this so if you will try to access this so let's see what will happen if i will try to check so you can see the private method m2 cannot be accessed why because this is the private method okay private method of class 2 okay and we have we have not defined a class 1 as a friend class of a class 2 okay so that is the reason we can't access to access this to our let's suppose in the class 1 we have to access the 
private method of class 2 then what we need to do so class 2 need to be defined as a friend of class okay so here what will your friend class 1 okay so once we have class 1 as a friend so now if I will check and activate so we are not getting the data see you can see there is no any error right so here we do not have any error okay so now what I will do uh, now at the end I will just call this method so here I will write start of selection okay here data object one type refer to class one and here I will use object two type refer to class two we will call the public method here okay so create object obj1 and here create object obj2 okay and here we will call the object one public method okay class public and here also we call object two public call method here also I will use call method ok check and activate ok so, ok so we will take the recap whatever we have done we have first defined the two class class 1 with the some public product selection then we have implemented the uh, private method in class 1 and class 2 here with the some initial instantiating some value but now when we wanted to access the in the class 2 or uh, 2 uh, in a uh, when we have to access the uh, uh, the private component of the class uh, private component of private component of the class 1 so that is the reason we have defined a, a, private, a class 2 as a friend class okay so the class 2 can access the protected and private component of class 1 okay but not vice versa so that is also we have also defined the class 1 as a friend so that class 1 can access this protected and private section of class 2 okay and here what we are doing we are just uh, nothing but uh, in the end start of selection uh, here we are calling this class 1 public method so what it will once it will execute this so it will go to the class 1 public method so what we have here so public method so it will come here it will instantiate class 2 and then it will call the private uh, it will call the private method of class 1 class 2 okay so once it will execute so then you, uh, once the call will come here then it will call to, it will go to the class 2 go to the private method of class 2 this okay this button it will execute first this then it will go to the class 2 public section so here is the class 2 public section in the class 2 public section we are calling the uh, private method of class 1 okay so it will execute this class 1 probably okay so this one I will, uh, in class 1 private here i will use one skip statement okay check and activate we will execute so now you can see the pro first it is calling the second method and then it is calling the pro private method of class 2 this is the private method and this is the private method of class 1 why so now here as you can see in a class in a in this uh, first control will go to the public section public method of class 1 and in a public method of class 1 here you can see public method of class 1 we are calling the private method of class 2 so that is the reason we are getting this this is printing first public uh, protected variable class 2 close to then same thing we have here the second also same thing uh, public section of uh, calling method of say uh, for same for the class 2 okay yeah Definitely. if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learningcpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out